it's still back to school season guys so today we'll be sharing with you seven brand new school lunchbox recipes you should use when packing lunchbox for your kids these school lunchbox ideas will totally step up your game they are so easy to make and your kids are absolutely going to love them so if it's your first time here you're welcome to our channel make sure you click on the subscribe button turn on notification bell because i bet you don't want to miss out on any of our videos and if you're a returning subscriber as always thank you so much make sure you let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section recipe number one into hot oil i'm just going to put in these diced sweet potatoes so this is sweet potatoes i diced to these small bite size shapes i just sprinkled in some salt and then put in the pan after putting it in the pan i like to sprinkle a bit of water because it just helps my sweet potato become really soft and you know guys this meal is for kids so we want it to be really soft we don't want it to be extremely crunchy once this has been frying for a while I'm just going to flip the sides and when it's good to go golden brown as you can see I'm going to take this off the fire I'm just going to keep it in a pan so that the excess oil can drain out so to pair this in a pan i'm just going to drizzle in some vegetable oil and now i'm going to be adding my eggs so into this egg i just cut up some tomato pepper onion seasoning cubes some salt a bit of curry and thyme i just mix the whole thing together and then i place in the pan once one side is done you're just going to flip the other side to make sure your egg is properly fried and then as soon as you're done with that you're set so we just made ourselves a quick omelette or egg sauce and that's what we're going to be pairing with the sweet potato so this is recipe number one fried sweet potato with egg sauce my son absolutely loves this and anytime I serve him this the pan comes back empty so make sure you pair this with some fruits you can just choose whichever fruit your little baby loves you try as much as possible to you know switch these fruits up sometimes what they like sometimes what they don't like and that's recipe number one recipe number two today still frying we are going to put in some fried plantain that we diced up into a pan and we're just going to allow this fry up for a bit once this has been frying for a bit you're just going to flip the sides and once it's golden brown you can take this off the oil we are going to set this aside and then we are going to move on to the second part of this recipe so i have some chicken breast here i just cut up into bite-sized pieces and then i'm going to be frying this in little oil so i just drained some out of the oil and then i'm putting in my chicken breast to this chicken breast the only thing i added was a bit of salt just to give it some taste you are going to fry this until you can see it's golden brown yes golden brown is always the goal so once it's golden brown like this you're just going to add in some diced onions i'm going to add in some thyme and some curry powder to this and then i'm going to give this a really really nice mix and allow to fry so next i'm going to add in some fresh tomato pepper and green pepper i have i just diced this up i'm going to add this to the pan and then i'm going to give this a really really nice mix i'm going to add in a bit of salt and some seasoning cubes give this another mix and allow it to fry some more so when this has been fried for a while i'm going to come in now with my fried plantain give this one final mix and allow it to heat up a bit and then recipe number two is ready you know kids love plantain a lot and this is just another way to serve it to them so it doesn't feel like you are giving the same thing every time i absolutely love this recipe because it's just one pot and it's very easy to put together and my kids always enjoy it whenever i serve it to them so fam let's move on to recipe number three recipe number three today first things first in a pot you're just going to put in some washed beans that you've obviously removed the dirt from and then add in some water into this and allow it to boil once this has been boiling for a while i'm going to take this off and then i'm going to parboil it rinse it off properly and bring it back into the pot now i'm going to add in enough water to cook this because i'm going to be adding in some washed rice so far um, we're going to be boiling the rice and beans together i'm just going to sprinkle in some salt enough to make this taste really nice and then i'm going to allow this cook next in a pot i have some oil i'm going to be adding in my onion my curry thyme and then a bit of sachet tomato here yeah, that's like your tea 
cutting tomato once this has fried for a while i'm going to add in my fresh tomato paste which is basically onions tomatoes pepper yeah and then um, long pepper that's the shombo and allow this fry so fam this has been frying for a bit now i'm going to come in with my proteins now so i have some assorted here i'm going to be adding it together with my meat stock i have some goat meat and i have some eggs yes nowadays since i had kids whenever i'm cooking i just like to put in some eggs because you know kids really love eggs and it's very healthy for them so i'm going to add in some salt some seasoning cubes give this a really nice mix and cover allow my stew to fry properly once this is ready i'm going to go ahead to serve today's recipe so here you go fam here is what my kids are going to be having for school lunch today i'm just going to start the rice and beans in a pot and then adding the stew at the other end so fam let's move on to recipe number four so in a pot i'm going to put in some water and cover this allow to boil by the side i have a pan i'm going to put in some oil and then i have some goat meat available i'm just going to cut this into small bite size or any protein of your choice you can feel free to use it i'm just going to allow this to fry so my water is boiling now i'm going to be adding in my pasta yes i'm going to be making spaghetti today i'm just going to add in some salt drizzle some oil and cover and allow that to well next back to my frying meat i'm going to add in some sliced onions some curry powder some thyme i'm going to give this a nice mix and then i'm going to come in with my pepper mix so this is just basically pepper onions and some tomatoes i just roughly blended together so i'm going to give this a really nice mix and guys i forgot to add in some eggs into that pasta because you know i said kids really love eggs so i'm just going to add in some eggs into this and allow it to continue boiling so back to my sauce i have this tomato paste i was gifted so i like to add this when i'm making pasta or you know things like this if you're using the regular tin tomatoes i usually like that i usually like to fry that before adding my pepper mix but if you're using something like this i think it goes whichever way before or after it's always nice and it doesn't really have that sour taste so next i'm going to be adding some salt some seasoning cubes give this a really nice mix and now my pasta is set i'm just going to be draining the excess water out i'm going to be adding it into my sauce so fam if you are still watching make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you are not yet subscribed like i don't know what you're waiting for make sure you click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell because i bet you don't want to miss out on any of the videos we have coming up i'm going to add in some veggies i have left over some carrots and green pepper to this just to add some really nice color to this and give this a really really nice mix i would cover for a bit and then i'm going to serve so on this day we were to have this meal at home but of course we all know this serves as a school lunch box idea so feel free to use it when packing lunch for your kids so from recipe number five i have some yam i just cut up in the pot i'm going to be adding in enough water to allow this boil i'm going to sprinkle in some salt and allow this to cook properly in between its cooking process i'm going to be adding in some plantain so we all know yam takes longer time to cook so i'm going to be adding the plantain halfway cover this and allow to cook properly so once this is done i'm going to set this aside so to the next part of this recipe in a pan i'm going to be putting in some palm oil once this is heated up i'm going to add in some chopped onions a bit of curry and thyme give this a nice mix and once it's beginning to fry i'm going to add in my pepper mix so this is basically tomatoes fresh peppers and some onions roughly blended together i'm going to mix this up and then once this has been frying for a while i'm going to add in my protein so today i'm going to be using Using some smoked fish you can use any person of your choice i'm going to be using smoked fish for this palm oil sauce i'm going to add in some salt and some seasoning cubes once this is beginning to cook properly i'm going to sprinkle in some veggies so this is just ugu leaf that's a normal green vegetable or any vegetable of your choice you're just going to sprinkle this in give it a really really nice mix and recipe number five is ready so today we're going to be having boiled yam and boiled plantain 
prepared together with some palm oil sauce this is your reminder to subscribe if you have not and of course i want to know which of these recipes you are going to try out make sure you drop a comment because that's how i know you are watching and i'll be more than encouraged to put out more helpful recipes like this for your kids so guys let's move on to the next recipe recipe number six so in a pot i'm going to add in some palm oil some chopped onions some curry and thyme give this a nice mix some pepper mix so i have some fresh tomatoes pepper and onions roughly blended together and then i'm going to be adding in some dried fish i'm going to give this a really really nice mix and allow it to fry for a bit next i'll be coming in with some seasoning cubes and some salt i'm also going to add in some bay leaves and once this is frying well i'm going to add in enough water because fam i'm about to cook palm oil rice or native rice like some people call it so i'm going to add my already parboiled rice into this give this a really really nice mix because you know we're not going to open this again until it's almost ready so i'm just going to be topping up with enough water to cook this properly because once i start this cooking process like i'm on to other things once you see this is almost done i'm just going to sprinkle in some dried crayfish to add more of that native vibe to this meal and then i'm going to sprinkle in some vegetables i have available so i have green available so that's i'll be using but if you have scents leave oh perfect give this a really nice mix and fam recipe number six is ready so this is what my kid is going to be having for school lunch today i'm going to pair this with some fruits and voila you're good to go so fam to recipe number seven into boiling water i'm going to add in some chopped pepper onion some tomatoes green pepper carrot just all of those colorful veggies i have available i'm going to drizzle in some oil and once this is boiling i'm going to add in my noodles because why sometimes we love to give kids what they love right so i'm just going to allow this cook properly and once this is almost ready i'm going to proceed now to add in my seasoning so this is basically the seasoning that came with the noodles i'm just going to add this in and then i'm going to give this a really really nice mix and i'm going to cover it again and allow our indomie noodles to cook completely so once our indomie is ready i'm going to set this aside and then move on to our egg sauce we're just going to be making a quick omelette so you know all of those veggies we used at the start i'm going to be adding them to this egg adding some thyme some curry tiny salt and seasoning cubes give this a really nice mix and then i'm going to proceed to fry this into a hot pan i'm going to drizzle in some oil and add this and once this is frying i'm going to flip the sides and fry the other side and guys as easy as this can be because you know this meal is for those days you wake up later you have to do like sharp sharp and within 30 minutes you can be done with this so fam i'm going to be serving this with some fruits i have some apples here i just cut up so i'm going to be serving this for my kids lunch today so fam i really really hope you found these seven recipes we just shared very helpful and if you want more of these recipes you can check our playlist on kids lunchbox we have so many videos like this on kids lunchbox recipe ideas make sure you click on the subscribe button if you haven't because that way you don't miss out on any of our videos i will catch you all in our next video fam bye